sexies what's good welcome back to another video this is a video i've been meaning to make for a long time so my bad i know we're like i don't know halfway into part six but it's a rocky forgot part five shout out to her mom b link in the description to uh, his video this uh, he makes um y'all know bro y'all know he makes a video for every part debunking things that people say iraqi forgot or whatever the case is so yeah we've done one for every part this is part five i'm curious to see some of this stuff i don't know if there's anything that stands out to me that like in my head i'm like yo nah this is something iraqi forgot i don't know so this is one i'm probably just gonna sit back relax and enjoy it so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Part five is one of the We're most the feet popular up. parts, the feet are up. and as such, it also has some of the most criticism. The Western JoJo fan base has had a tumultuous history with this part, and it is very we'll divisive see. to say the least. In Japan, however, it is one of, if not the most, well-liked part. Hold up, let me see that. I imagine this divide resulted from the extremely poor English translation part. This divide Hold resulted let me see that. from history with this part, and it is very divisive to say the least. In Japan, however, it is one the most okay it wasn't in order that's why i was like what phantom blood no okay so it's what vento is that golden experience is that what that huh okay so i'm um, part five then barely part four over part three then it's still ball run interesting then battle tendency what joe jolian at seven percent is it because nobody reads the manga as much because i've heard good things about joe jolian interesting it's the worst part what according to this uh, that's interesting all right let me know what y'all think bro one of if not the most well why stone part. ocean so low too I imagine this divide resulted from the extremely poor english translation part five was stuck with for many years but even now when a much better translation has come about People have continued this to freaking push the OST in the back. I, I love this, bro. I love it. Then. Part five is introduced to us by Koichi, who has been sent to Italy by Jotaro to investigate. Jotaro with the Jotaro. black hair, bro. For whatever bro. reason, his inclusion is confusing to people, who think that Josuke should have been sent instead. It has been shown that Jotaro considers Koichi oh, this, very reliable. This, this shit, bro. The, the Koichi reliable. Y'all know how I feel about that, bro. It's a, it's a joke for me, but. It's, there's a little truth to every joke. I don't know if he's like that nah, reliable, but it's cool. But are people complaining that Josuke was? It would have been dope if Josuke was sent. Cause I want to see Josuke, bro. I really want to see Josuke again. But like, I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Is before part five started. It is also directly stated by Jotaro that Koichi would be better suited to approach Jorno Why, without it's being noticed. Back in part three, Jotaro experienced firsthand that he and Joseph could sense Jonathan's body nearby. If he or Josuke went to approach uh, Jorno, it is very possible that they would be sensed uh, by okay, him that makes as well. Sense. Some people have asked how Jorno got a hold of the spirit photograph that Joseph took of Dio. However, this is yeah, that actually. exists only in the anime adaptation, since the manga uses a completely different picture. In oh, writing, okay. Part, so that picture wasn't even supposed to be put on there. Charging a target with life energy. This makes them lose control of their consciousness and experience pain much slower than normal. Many have asked why this ability does not. Bro, this happens a lot, bro. I'm not gonna lie. This is one of the main things that uh, people complain about, and that he addresses. He being um, come on beat, but um. It's always like, yo, they use this ability. Why don't they use it anymore? Why don't they use it anymore? And I, I honestly, I get that. I get that, um, like that complaint. Cause it's like, and, and a viewer said, it's like, well, if you don't use that ability again, it's like, you never, like, why did you even have it? But I also understand the argument against it. Or it's like, well, there's no reason to use it. Or well, I don't know if that's what he's going to say, but most of the time that's what he says. Thing to be made clear is that this ability only works when directly punching a living target. It does not work on oh, stands, okay. which is directly shown in the fight with Black Sabbath, which is an automatic been fighting stands stand. the whole time. Three of Jorno's fights are against targets yeah. that would be unaffected. Black Sabbath, the remote independent stand Freaking baby, baby face, face. and the userless stand Notorious B.I.G. Against Gyacho, Jorno's attacks are completely blocked by the suit of ice, and Ugh. only the metal pole entering through his air vent could damage Ugh, him. To the neck. In the fights where Jorno does attack a stand user directly, they are defeated immediately afterwards. There is no reason not to believe that the effects of the punch are still felt by Chocolata and Diavolo. They're just not shown, since they have already been shown in great detail yeah. twice before. 
Some people have also suggested that Gold Experience Requiem's ability is somewhat of an evolution of this consciousness attack. Another Gold Experience ability that is seen less later on is Damage Reflection. I mean, you... This is first seen after Oh, Luka, with the frog thing! On, yeah, I forgot about that! Many ask why this did not happen later. In Giorno's other fights, no enemies ever I forgot about that. Gold Experience creation. Chocolata's mold would not count as a direct attack, since it is happening independently from Green Day itself. Some point to Diavolo killing the Scorpion, however this is another error only present in the anime. In the manga, Diavolo specifically avoids touching the Scorpion by removing a chunk of his own flesh, similar to the rat fight in uh. Others ask why the body parts created by Giorno don't have this See, effect when they're damaged. Uh, it's weird After that like the anime goes so far off of the not so far but like far off the manga to where like stuff like this would be like a big issue that's so weird bro that's that's really weird to me the body parts must end up being considered part of the person i don't care for this ost that also, much the way giorno describes this ability early on is the organism protecting itself this would imply that an incomplete organism would not have this ability Freaking when Popo Popo. Was first introduced, he is shown eating his own fingers before they are seemingly healed. Many people ask what the purpose of this was. Some people have suggested that the meta reason for this being included would be a reference to the guitarist for Black Sabbath, who famously lost some of his fingers in hmm? an accident. Black Sabbath also being oh, okay. his stand. The in-universe explanation would be that this is the activation for his stand. Since immediately after doing this, the lighter appears from nowhere into his he hand. He activates his stand by the stand eating his fingers? The ability is to fix objects together. He's often shown using this to stop bullets from hitting him. Some people ask how he was able to freeze the bullet in the air. That's what, okay, okay, okay. That's one that I definitely said during uh, my reaction during watching. I'm like, yo, how are the bullets stuck when they're on a moving truck? Like the bullets... In my head, and I, I'm pretty sure he's about to explain, but in my head, it's like, if you were to stop the bullets, and y'all are on a moving truck, the bullets should stay there, and then while y'all go, like, the truck should start going, and the bullets should stay there. But, someone, I think someone actually explained it to me while we were watching. He fixed the bullets to the truck, not to, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, hopefully, he explains it better. Standing of his ability, since for whatever reason, people assume that things yeah. are frozen statically. He actually uses craftwork to fix things relative to the truck, yeah. including Mista's hand, which was stuck onto the railing. The bullets were fixed relative to himself, who was also moving. Oh, I thought it was fixed truck. to the truck. Okay. Back in part three, Kakuin discovered that Hanged Man's ability did yeah. not involve moving into a mirror world, and that the true form of the stand must be made of light bouncing between reflections. In part five, the stand man in the mirror can take its targets into a mirror dimension. This has been part of a long-running joke in the JoJo community that even predates the 2012 anime. Even I have a video on my own this channel. This came out in 2012? However, some people take this far too seriously and honestly suggest that these two events are actually contradictory. Hanged Man was a stand that appeared to be completely invincible. If it actually attacked from a mirror world, it would be unstoppable. Kakuin knew there must be a catch. Kakuin, so dang smart. I like Kakuin, man. I miss him. I wish he would have stayed alive, bro. I wonder how he would have been. Inside first. It is also shown to not be very physically strong, as a trade-off for its very powerful ability. Iluso mentions that stands can interact with people, but not the other way around. Shortly after this, he is shown touching Moody Blues and interacting with it. This is another error only present in the anime, since in the manga, he is still touching the okay. Bakio himself. Some people have asked how Mista was able to survive his gunshot wounds before Giorno had learned the ability to heal. I don't see how people can yeah, really I be was. surprised by this, when the entire point of the scene was that number 5 stopped the bullets before they could enter Mista's head, only leaving him with perfectly treatable surface injuries. See, After the Grateful Dead fight, an that one I said the same thing, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I said the same thing, because it's like, there was three bullet shots to his head. I didn't know number 5 would, would be able to stop all three of them. So I think that was one I was definitely on to. I'm like, yo, I thought Misa, you know, because the next episode, they act like nothing happened. It was just like, oh, Misa's back. So that was interesting. Trish, as oh, this, yeah. User. Many people say that this is contradictory to the ability of her stand, which is the softened objects, and that this indentation did not Yeah, what was that? That isn't necessarily true, since it actually does appear again shortly before she awakens her stand. 
this indentation could simply be caused by her subconsciously softening the ground. Why? Why was this such a big After Bruno was print, though? By King Crimson, uh, was shown in the second Coco Jumbo. Uh, I don't know about that one. That's one that I'm gonna have to keep my my suspicion on. Because I remember that because I was like, I made a joke. I'm like, yo, she's a freaking Titan. Because like the ground was steaming. She made a big print. Okay. So if it is her, like, um, just subconsciously softening the ground, why is it such a big, like, ham? You know what I'm saying? That's, that's one that I might have to hold on to. Stand. This indentation still has access Let me know what y'all think, though. Ability. Some people have asked how this is possible and why Jorno did not make more creatures with stands. Jorno specifically says that he made this turtle using the cells of the original. If Coco Jumbo is a born stand user, then an exact copy grown from his cells would be also. King Crimson is a stand that has a large amount of debate surrounding it. Early translations of Part 5 were extremely poor, so a common joke among Western fans pertained to how confusing the countless mistranslations <laughs> made his He's ability. ugly, However, bro. However, even with more accurate translations coming out in recent years, People still say that King Crimson's ability how is so itself. I will go over these apparent contradictions and show how they are. This thing is still kind of confusing to me, so I'm here for it. The most common claim made about King Crimson is that it is inconsistent whether Diavolo can interact with objects within skipped time. Against Risotto, bullets are seen phasing through him, but elsewhere, he is seemingly interacting with objects. It is important to note that we are never actually shown King Crimson interacting with an object in skipped time. These only ever happen when skipped time oh, is not shown. Oh, okay. In Jojo Veller, it is clarified that King Crimson oh. is unable to attack in skipped time. This makes sense. What was that? Diablo Jojo Veller? What the heck is that? Until immediately after a skip to launch. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. With this one, I'm just However, here because I, his stand was so confusing to me anyway. Trish being taken from the elevator as examples of King Crimson interacting in skipped time. Oh. The most important thing to understand about King Crimson is how fate is manipulated by its ability and how this interacts with his substand epitaph. Diavolo can view a forecast of 10 seconds into uh -huh. the future with epitaph. The prediction of these 10 seconds is absolute. It is fated to happen. However, skipping time allows Diavolo to be exempt from fate for up to 10 seconds, so he's able to move as he pleases during the so, skip. But just because Diavolo does something different, that would not change the fated actions of that is so, You see what I'm saying? Well, I'd be so confused on his stand, bro. It's dope, but it's confusing. Movements. Even results of actions Diavolo was fated to do. This is how these various events are able to happen. Diavolo waits until Epitaph shows him a favorable prediction, and then skips time to allow this to happen with no risk. Nah, he's cold though. Still, Epitaph being bound to fate prevents his design so good using this, since Diavolo cannot control what will appear from Epitaph. When a prediction is shown to not be in his favor, he instead uses this opportunity to move into a favorable position and prepare a counterattack. In the example of Narancha's death, Narancha is fate. I don't even want to see this, bro. Bars. Since King Crimson is only able to change Diavolo's fate, this event will still occur no matter what. The only things down man. by fate during a skip are That Diavolo was the himself, saddest death probably in Jojo, dang near. This includes his own blood, which he is seen manipulating to appear in front of a target's face as soon as the skip ends. He has also been shown launching attacks from within a skip, which are timed to hit immediately after time. Ah, uh, okay, that's kind of OP. Well, it's kind of like, uh, fighting King Crimson for the first time. Kind of like he sees stopping a time down there and attacking. People are often confused by this and use it as an example of something that was forgotten. However, Diavolo explains that he is showing him Epitaph's ability. Normally, Diavolo displays this projection behind his bangs, but in this case, he has projected it in front of Bucciarati. After Bucciarati is defeated by Diavolo, he is left to die mm -hmm. and is found by Giorno. He heals his body as soon as his soul is leaving, and he is able to come back to life. Many people have asked how this is possible, and say that this is a contradiction of Jotaro's statement in Part 4 about how no standability I is I think I said this too! Dead. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure I commented on this as well. And I think I got it explained to me. But that I, I'm pretty sure this is something I was like, what the heck? Uh, how did he how did he do that because and i think i said the same thing i'm like jodoro said at this point blah 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 blah. yeah let's see bro. this is a topic that i've had to go over in multiple videos but now that we finally reached this video let's do I it cover it in full jotaro's quote is still correct no standability is capable of bringing a person back from the dead 
plenty of stands are capable of perfectly healing a body, but that is not a guarantee that that person's soul will return. Whether or not a soul can come back is completely up to their own resolve. In part 3, Joseph returned to his body after it had blood again. In part 4, Okuyasu was able to turn away from the afterlife and return oh, to his body. Okay. In part 5, Uchirati was able so to he's occupy saying his body again. However, that it's not it's not the fact that like whoever's healing them was like, "Hey, you coming back?" It's like, "Hey, I healed you. Now you have the option to come back if you want to, if you, you know what I'm saying, like if you if you got that in you to come back." It's not a matter of like, "Hey, I brought you back." Got it. Makes sense. Bucciarati is a special case. As seen in Sleeping Slaves, he was fated to die from his fight with King Crimson. Through sheer resolve, he was able to pilot his body. That's for a still short like time. crazy to me. He was shown being unaware of pain and lacking any feeling of hunger, and eventually his body had deteriorated to the point of him going blind and deaf after only Dang, a couple Dang, bro, days. That, was, that was pretty sad too. After Jormo and Bucciarati decide to betray the boss, the rest of the team must choose whether to join them or stay behind. Freaking Fugo. All of them join except for Fugo, who is absent for the rest of the part. Numerous people have said that <laughs> Fugo was forgotten about by Araki. Or that he was written out as a result of Nah, the there's no way he forgot Neither because in the in the, the anime they even show him again after Narancha died. So I don't agree with that. It's just like it sucks, bro, because his stand was so cool when I first saw it. And then especially with everybody telling me with the backstory about why he always wants to be so clean and stuff like that because of like everything he went through. I thought he would have been a very interesting character. So it kinda sucked to see or to not see like him at all, bro. Spoken at length about Fugo in an interview. He said that his original plan was to have Fugo acting as a spy. Yeah, I heard that. Somebody told me that when I was watching. Him being killed. Due to his depression at the time, Araki decided this was too much and had him leave the group instead. This change had nothing to do with the power of his stand and was a conscious choice by Araki as an end for the character in this story. The stand yeah, that's talking head right attaches itself me. to a target and forces them to say the opposite of what they mean to say. Many people ask why Bucciarati did not use his liar tasting technique. As yeah, Jones, what was that about? Some people have suggested that this was only yeah, used and it was an not intimidation tactic, yeah. and that it does not literally detect lies. That is actually can? wrong, since Bruno's inner monologue confirms that he is actually Where did you get able that from? to do this. However, that does not stop this point from being incorrect. For starters, Bruno did not have any suspicion that Narancha oh, yeah, was true. lying, so he would never true. consider doing this. Second, Narancha is not intentionally lying, so his sweat would not That's be also true, that. yeah. When Trish's stand Spice Girl is Spice Girl. <laughs> it acts independently and speaks I, okay. to Trish, similar to Echo's act. I, again, I love voice. whenever he brings up something that I thought about. See, I, I didn't think that I had anything when it came to part five. I didn't. I thought that I was just like, oh, I'm willy-nilly enjoying part five. No, I remember this too, because I'm like, yo, how is she speaking to her independently? Um, Yeah, I want to know what this is about, bro. However, after this fight, Trish is shown directly controlling her stand, and the stand no longer speaks. I have seen some people say that Araki forgot about Maybe Spice that was Girl's just her personality and subconscious. To speak. I don't see how people can miss this one, since Spice Girl made it very clear that she did not have an individual personality. She is a representation of Trish's own more confident personality that she was hiding from the group, and once Trish gained control of her stand, she accepted who she really was. Spice Girl tells Trish that they have become one in the same, so the stand acting on its own is Got not it. necessary. Okay. Some people have asked why Diavolo did not reveal himself during the fight with Risotto to have an that easier makes chance sense. of defeating him. This is another example of people simply not paying attention, since Diavolo goes over this possibility. The goal of the fight was to get close enough to Risotto to damage him and to learn his ability. Diavolo directly states that if he is too far away and reveals himself, Risotto would just run away after learning the boss's face. Many people have asked why Giorno did not revive Abakio and Narancha in the same way he did for Bruno, despite Bruno being a special case where he had the resolve to return. This also stems from people completely forgetting the fact that Bruno was not really alive, but was just controlling a mm -hmm. deteriorating corpse. A common question I've seen involves the fight against Green Day. People ask how Chocolata was able to cut sex pistols with a scalpel when physical objects are not able to interact. You know, I do have a, a question and about no that fight with so uh, Green Day. Thing was never shown happening I remember. I, I wonder if he's going to bring it we up. We never saw the attack that injured sex pistols. We see a bloody scalpel on the table, but on the very next page, we see Chocolata attacking Giorno with his stand. 
which could easily have been the way Sex Pistols was damaged. And almost immediately after this, the true purpose of the scalpel was shown, with Chocolata using it to cut himself up to hide yeah. inside of the helicopter. This was how he was able to get the yeah, chop this, on this Sex isn't... Pistols in the first place. In I never Diablo's thought about that. Story, his birth is shown to have been an impossible occurrence, resulting from a two-year-long pregnancy no, that's crazy. of his father. People have repeatedly asked how this is possible. I don't see how people can miss the point of this scene. These events are clearly presented as an impossible urban legend, and are not meant to be understood. The details of Diavolo's past are left intentionally vague to show how well his mm, past okay, is I mean. The apparently supernatural circumstances surrounding his birth are also quite fitting considering his demonic namesake. During Polnareff's Polnareff. it is mentioned that Jotaro and Polnareff investigated the stand areas uh -huh. in the 1990s. I have seen a ton of people asking how this is possible, when Jotaro is shown learning about the arrow's power during Part 4 in 1999. However, it was shown in Part 4 that Jotaro was aware of the arrows beforehand, since he was in possession of the photograph mm -hmm. of Enya with the arrow, which he says was found over 10 years ago. Jotaro and Polnareff knew Freaking about Part the five then, Jotaro is kind of, yeah, I'll be getting kind of hot looking at him. <laughs> But he did not know about the arrow's power. Just get like ripped the on the left. In Morio. After being approached by King Crimson, Sora Chariot is shown throwing Polnareff into the air. Back in part three, Chariot was unable to move Polnareff. To oh the yeah! Screen. What the? This is quite simple. Earlier in. Hey, they bringing up people, be bro. I'll be forgetting stuff like that, bro. And I would, I would never think to be like, yo. So where Cherry just threw Polnareff in the air. What about when he fought a Vanilla Ice? Why couldn't he do... God, bro. I did not be thinking about that. Three, we were shown that Chariot is capable of holding Yeah, he did float in the air. But while he was trapped by Cream, he was bleeding out and gravely injured. While he is crippled in Part 5, this would not have nearly as much of an effect on his abilities as bleeding out would. The final fight revolves around getting a hold of the arrow, which upon piercing a stand will cause it to become Requiem. In the end, Jorno pierces gold experience and evolves his stand. However, back during the fight with Black Sabbath, gold experience briefly touched the arrow, but did not True. become a record. True. Is it because it wasn't pierced? I've seen this used quite a lot as an example of something that was forgotten. Some people have suggested that only the arrow with the beetle on it introduced later Maybe. in Grant Requiem stands. While this is the only arrow ever shown doing this, I don't think this is a sufficient what is it then? since it is never directly stated. So here's a better explanation. It was shown in all examples that the Requiem transformation does not occur immediately. For Silver Chariot, after pricking its finger on the arrow and beginning its transformation, Polnareff was able to reverse it by oh, taking yeah, the yeah, arrow he did do that. fast enough. Later, King Crimson is shown briefly touching the arrow in the same Requiem Oh, so what he's about to say is that but Bucciarati destroyed whenever he was fighting Black Sabbath, it's because, like... It didn't, it, uh, he wasn't getting pierced long enough for it to take effect, probably. Okay. Requiem's light caused King Crimson to turn ethereal, making the arrow drop through him. Even though he had touched the arrow, he did yeah. not become a Requiem. I wonder what his Requiem would have been like. Yo, that was, that was good. There was some stuff that I forgot. The only thing that I was going to say about the Green Day fight was there was a point in time where, I forgot who would, no, it was, uh, it was Mista. He got hurt somehow, and then I don't know if Jorno laid him down, but he laid down. And when he did that, he didn't get consumed by like the mold. But if you remember, like if you reach low or something like that, you would get consumed by the mold. That threw me off. I was like, how is he not um, getting attacked by the mold? Like, I don't know. Maybe there's an explanation for that. But if you know what I'm talking about, like go look in that fight. There's a point where they're on the roof. And even Green Day is up there too. So you can't be like, well, Green Day is lower or whatever the case is. Green Day was up there, like around the helicopter. I feel like uh, Mista should have been covered by the mold, but I don't know. We'll see. But again, shout out to um, Halone B. Link in the description if you want to watch this original video. I would love for you to go show him some love because that's the only way we're even able to watch this and get this content. Um, part five was dope. Probably my favorite, my favorite part so far. Six might be better. So far, I think it's gonna go six, five, four, three, two, one, something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying JoJo. I love it. If you want to see reactions to it. Um, there's all types of reactions to Jojo on the channel. Subscribe. Um, let me know if you guys have any suggestions for any other videos. I love y'all so much. Leave a like. I'll catch you guys in the next video.